What do you got in there? A dead body? Yeah. <laughs> it's a mattress, actually. If somebody has a 20 year old mattress, it's horrible. Yeah. Chances are that thing's killing your back. <laughs> the more you fail at something, the more knowledge you have and the more likely you are to succeed. Success yeah. only, only comes from failure. You gotta start by counting other people's money. That's what my dad said. He said, you know what? If you wanna become rich, an easy way to get there is to count rich people's money. Well, Serta and Sealy make a ton of different variations of mattresses, right? They make it nice and confusing. Well, but this show is sponsored in part by Woolit.co. Being with the right people, Having the right team okay. is super important. The wallet would actually send you a text. You can even attach this to your girlfriend. If <laughs> Every girlfriend <laughs> should have this. My first job, I actually worked at a grocery store. I have that knowledge at my fingertips. Yeah, but you gotta keep going, keep going, keep going. Whatever setbacks you have, have your mind focused on, on your target and what you wanna accomplish and you will get there eventually. And when you do, it's the most rewarding feeling in the world. What is the best way to market a business these days? We had a really good business teacher, uh, Mr. Mark Antonio. You are responsible for Chiropol. Yeah. <laughs> you get no royalties from it. I've always wanted to run my own business. Is Chiropol? Chiropol.com. Yeah. I am a walking <laughs> dilemma, man. Am I allowed to have coitus on the mattress? Just mobile. Just mobile. Am I going to get your car at the end of it too? <laughs> BMW, please sponsor me. This show is sponsored in part by Woolit.co. The Woolit. Never lose your keys <laughs> and never lose your wallet again. This episode is also sponsored in part by Just Mobile. Just Mobile. Because you just need this. Yes. It's Uber. I'm just, I guess I'm around the corner. Yeah, I'm standing right outside. I actually have a big box with me if you don't mind uh, giving me a hand so I'll get in the back seat. Yeah, that should be fine. That'd be great. Yeah, okay. Awesome. I'm turning in right, right. now. Hey, I'm Marcin. Yeah, right. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What do you got in there? A dead body? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mattress, actually. Really? Yeah, it's one of those uh, compressed rolled up mattresses. Okay, so give me a second to start. So we're going to the same destination? Yep. Um, you obviously see a camera here. And I do, I see that. We're filming a TV show in Toronto. Okay. It's called The Uber Experiment. So it's Canada's business entertainment reality show. Here's a card. Awesome. So we can either talk about what you do or we can just sit quiet and admire your big box. Let's chat. Let's chat? <laughs> okay. So let me just get on the road first. So what, you just bought a mattress or something? No, this is actually a company that I started off and um, I'm bringing it to a meeting here to pitch it to a couple couple weeks. So you're an entrepreneur? Yeah. It's a mattress? Yeah. So is it like a chiropractor, are you a doctor? Or? It's uh, it's made and developed with chiropractors. So it's meant to be good for your back. Are you, a, are you a chiropractor? I'm not a chiropractor myself, but we've partnered with a couple chiropractors. Do you have like advertisements and small print says, as used by chiropractors? Nine out of 10 chiropractors recommend this <laughs> Exactly. Like, like, like the dentist. <laughs> check, check, check. Um, no, we actually we actually did a couple tests and um, it took us a while to actually develop like the perfect mattress. They looked at different factors like if it aligns your spine when you sleep, if it releases from enough pressure from your body, things like that. They, we actually did a cool little experiment where um, they put a mat underneath the mattress and then people lie down and it shows all the pressure points. Where, on have. a computer or something? On the computer, yeah. On an average mattress or those old school spring mattresses, you see a lot of different pressure points. The ones with the, the metal springs? Yeah, yeah. If somebody has a 20 year old mattress, it's horrible. Yeah. Chances are that thing's killing your back. <laughs> My friend has actually a, a 11 year old mattress. I guess she's been sleeping on one side of the bed because everybody likes their own side of the bed. Yeah. For like 10 years. And there's literally like an indent like this. Yeah. It happens, yeah. And then she, you know, she said, I feel very comfortable in it. It's really good for my back. Because you're almost in a cocoon. I don't know, then I get memory from is like that, right? Doesn't it just kind of like contour to you, the shape of your body? Contours to the shape of your body, but it releases pressure. So it's kind of like a good contour. So she technically created her own memory foam. Yeah, her own little, her own lump. I doubt that's really good for you if we actually had that instrument. <laughs> you, you could see all the pressure right. points, all the coils yeah, popping into her back. Yeah, so before we get to it, do you have sunglasses? 
I don't. I come prepared. You get these cool aviators. There you go. Like yeah, they're Chirofoam blue too. Like, oh, these are the official <laughs> glasses of Chirofoam. I do have something for you. Okay, awesome. But I will only give it to you if I like your answers. Cool. Because I have the authority and the power in this vehicle. Awesome. Okay. So let's uh, so let's start from the very beginning. What did you want to be when you were a kid? I think one of them was firefighter. And then you find out how impossible it is to become a firefighter. Not necessarily. There's many men and women out there who serve the city of Toronto. Who, there is. And who I have made a it. lot of respect for them. But how about a cop? I don't really want to become a cop. No. I like to watch cops when I was a, a kid. You are a pill popping bitch. I'm not gonna touch you, sir. <laughs> How about astronaut? Astronaut. <laughs> Possibly, why not? I think every kid wants to be an astronaut. Elon Musk gets us to Mars. I think everybody will be an astronaut. Become a space faring civilization and a multi planet species. Yeah, gotta reserve those half a million dollar tickets to be the first ones on. And they're gonna go down the price. <laughs> I think he said it's gonna be under 75000 Oh, very affordable. It'd be roughly equivalent to a median house price um, in, in the US. Uh, which is around two hundred thousand dollars. Pocket change. <laughs> I mean, if a house is one point six million dollars. Yeah. In Toronto. By that time, it's going to be like a month's rent. In the right. Time. <laughs> <laughs> what was your first job then? My first job, I actually worked at a grocery store. Um, put up all the eggs and yogurt and dairy uh, products on the shelf. Oh. I had it all through a high school or university. Okay. It was uh, right across the street from my house. I loved it. Now, at what point did the whole entrepreneurial spirit kick in? So I've always wanted to run my own business. Ever since I hit high school, um, you know, you're in high school and you have to kind of pick out, okay, what am I going to do now? What am I going to study? Okay. I was I was good in sciences up until grade eight. What I enjoyed doing more was business, right? So I took a lot of business classes in, uh, oh, you did? in high school. Yeah, business classes in high school. Yeah, yeah. We had a really good business teacher that actually made his own class. What's his name? Uh, Mr. Mark Antonio. Mr. Mark Antonio. Mr. Mark Antonio. Shout out. What's up? You are responsible for Chirofoam. Yeah. <laughs> you get no royalties from it. He actually made his own class. It was called Personal Finance. And um, he taught us a lot about, you know, applying for a mortgage and having a good credit no rating. No shit. Yeah. It was amazing. I was surprised that something like that didn't already exist. Does to it? this yeah. day, it's not even taught yeah. in the curriculum. He was a manager at a TD Bank, I believe. So that, that teacher actually inspired me. Um, him and Mr. Damaso, um, which was my economics teacher, uh, they both kind of inspired me to go into business, go to Ryerson. That's that's where I went actually, right? Okay. So from that point, I kind of like veered away from the sciences, went to business and I enjoyed it. I loved it, right? Are, you, I, are I, your parents in business as well? No, my parents are both uh, engineers. <laughs> well, so, yeah. um, took accounting and finance. So I decided at that point, I said, okay, if I'm gonna have to pick something, mm -hmm. I'm gonna become an accountant. So you gotta start by counting other people's money. Yeah, exactly. That's what my dad said. He said, you know what? If you wanna become rich, an easy way to get there is to count rich people's money. If you make them rich, they'll make you rich. There you go. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people don't understand that if you go to an accountant, a really good accountant, you pay him a fair amount of money, and he deals with people who have way more wealth. I have that knowledge at my fingertips. Yeah. And I know what's out there. I count now is actually very inspirational. Yeah. Um, he motivates me a lot every time I see him. I see him once a year, and he's always telling me, hey, how, what's going on with your businesses? Yeah, what are yeah, you doing yeah. here and there? Yeah, Here's, yeah. I, I know a guy that did this. So I remember last year he was telling me about um, re remarketing yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, how I should be doing that. Things like that, right? We have conversations, and it kind of okay. motivates me. And inspires well, let's jump ahead yeah but be before we do do you lose your keys a lot though who doesn't lose their keys you gotta say yes i do all the time. i do all the time <laughs> because you lose your keys uh. this show is sponsored in part by willet.co so you get bluetooth tracker key finder that's awesome that's really cool never lose your keys again so how does this work i have one right here you attach your keys right here this syncs with your phone there is a speaker in here you can also gps your key location if you forget them somewhere yeah. then your phone will pull it up and it'll show you exactly where this is yeah you can even attach this to your girlfriend if you're out with her at the bar one night and if she gets too far away it'll start exactly <laughs> every girlfriend should have these <laughs> do you ever find that you lose your wallet i lose my wallet all the time well it's your lucky day because, oh man <laughs> because i I actually have Woolet Leather Brown Smart Wallet. Wow, from the same company as this. Of course, it is, because awesome. we love Woolet. Should you open it? If <laughs> Let me open it. You're All driving. Right. Oh, that's actually a really nice wallet. Nice real leather. Oh, Beautiful. Oh, yeah. There you go. On the wall. If you get this wallet from Woolet.co, if you go to a restaurant and you leave the wallet on the table and then you walk away, the wallet would actually send you a text saying that's really cool where mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. So here you go. Thank you very much. Right. So moving on, so now you finished schooling and then what was your first company? Was this your first company? No, I actually um, worked a little bit in the manufacturing industry at first. Okay. Um, learned how to make mattresses. I did a little bit of sales. Um, and then I worked in the retail 
environment for about five years. Also selling mattresses? Selling mattresses, yeah. Learned a lot from learning how a mattress is made and the components that go into it mm -hmm. to selling it to customers. Well, tell me why are there so many options? And that's, that's a fair question because a lot of people don't know. There's so many things on the market out there today. If you have back problems, you know, you need to go to a chiropractor and they can diagnose them, right? right? But there's preventative ways. Like if you have a mattress that's supportive on the firmer side, it keeps your back straight while you sleep, that releases a lot of pressure overnight. And that actually helps out a lot to relieving back pain and right. everyday back pain that people experience just from working their daily lives. Does being flat-footed affect how I sleep or like my back? I wouldn't know 100%. Would, would, I, I believe would you recommend Chiropho kind of for every flat-footed person out there? I would recommend them <laughs> <laughs> to go talk to their chiropractor. You know, I would recommend Chirofoam to anybody regardless because right. it is it is a good mattress that does keep your body straight. So it's in a box like that, so I imagine it's a memory foam. But this one is a memory foam mattress. It's comprised with two layers of memory foam on top. Because I actually have a, a memory foam, it's about eight inches. It's only mm -hmm. one. This one's 12 inches in thickness. 12 inches. It's a little bit thicker, yeah. It's a, it's a really good high-end luxury product. The one that I have is just a foam, yellow mm -hmm. foam, and then it's got like a, like a cover, a zipper. That's another assumption that people have when they say, oh, I have a memory foam mattress, they always assume that it's all memory foam. If a mattress was all memory foam, you would sink right through it. It'll give you zero support. Actually, when I was in manufacturing, I'd, I'd lie down on like 12 inches of memory foam and you would sink right through. It'd be like a hammock, horrible for your back. The way that mattresses are made, memory foam mattresses, is they have the memory foam layers on top. Yeah. Um, and then the core foam is what supports you. Depending on how much memory foam, the type of memory foam that's on top, the firmness of the core foam, those combinations, sometimes they have a layer in the middle that's softer or firmer. A combination of that dictates how the mattress feels. They compare it to two other big brands. Um, well, certain and Sealy make a ton of different variations of mattresses, right? They make it nice and confusing. Wait, well, <laughs> how many models can it possibly make? Probably like 30, 40 per company. And what does the price range? They start anywhere from two, 300 to a queen to four, five, six, 10,000. Priced between 10 and $100,000, each is destined to leave the chic New York showroom for someone's bedroom. How much is yours? Ours is 990. Your That's website and you, is chirofoam. Chirofoam.com. Yeah, check it out, guys. You can learn a lot about uh, how important good sleep is. Are you going to give our audience like a coupon code? We'll get the Uber experiment. We're going to be some mattresses. There you go. Provide the world with a good night's sleep. All right? That's right. That's right. So now you're thinking, I have all these smart devices, but Marcin, how do I charge them? Yeah. Charging pad <laughs> for your wallet That's and cool. your fob. Open that up. Oh, man. Am I going to get your car at the end of it too? No, 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 no. <laughs> BMW, please sponsor me so yeah. I can give away a car. What you don't know is I'm keeping your mattress. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that looks cool. Nice little... So moving on, mm -hmm. if there's like a blind sleep test, who would win? Of course, you're going to say you. We would win. You know what? Mm -hmm. um, Tell the me way, why. Okay, so the way we developed the Chirofoam mattress, there's a pattern to what people really, really want, right? I pretty much looked at what the majority of people like right and we developed that mattress that was our starting point okay. then we went to the chiropractors and then they kind of tweaked it added a lumbar you support just really went to chiropractor yeah we did yeah. yeah there's a chiropractor that uh speaks about the mattress and the importance Your brother? of sleep on yeah <laughs> <laughs> dr peter bassett okay. um we worked together with uh with the manufacturers and is it manufacturing in canada it's all manufactured in canada so how can you keep the price at uh for the quality that you're getting it's yeah. a really good bang for your buck there are cheaper mattresses out there and there are more expensive mattresses out there, right? All the best stars have stayed on there. Marilyn Monroe, John Wayne, Charlie Chaplin. I think 350 for mine. Well, you'll see the difference between a $350 and mattress and a and a thousand dollar mattress. Yeah. We'll take it out, we'll roll it on the street. You can uh, see, it, see it come up and Serious? then slide down on it. <laughs> Look right here, let's do it. So what would you say are the three main characteristics that make up an entrepreneur? You know what? You got to have passion. You got to love what you're doing. That's so is your passion one. for sleeping? My passion is to create products that help people. It creates something that makes people's lives better in a sense. You got to have the drive. You, you can't be lazy. People have the passion, but they don't have the drive, right? They, they sit at home. They. Why do you think that is? Things don't go right and they give up, right? Yeah. Um, and by the way, in, in running a business, nothing ever goes right. Never, <laughs> never. never. When I first started, honestly, I was it was just setback after setback after setback. Everything goes wrong all the time, yeah. and I and I just got immune to it. I said, you know what? Yeah. This is this is running a business. It's just you know nothing ever goes right. You got to keep going, keep going, keep going. Whatever setbacks you have, you got to keep going. Yeah. Have your mind focused on on your target and what you want to accomplish, and you will get there eventually. And when you do, it's the most rewarding feeling in the world. So you said uh, passion, drive, and being with the right people having the right team okay. is super important people that you surround yourself with will make or break you 100 percent. if you take 
the average of three three of your friends mm -hmm. that's how much you're supposed to be making and that's a really good format for all you guys out there yeah it's unfortunate but sometimes you got to get rid of people around you so you can move ahead it's about being with like-minded people right if you divide your three friends and you guys are at twenty thousand dollars but you guys are ambitious you're always looking for the next best thing oh, you're, of ne course. you're networking with the right people there's yeah. nothing wrong with that what do they say if you're the smartest person in the room you're you gonna in, leave you're, the room you're in the wrong room i worked for free for like years before i started making money and to me it was just you know i enjoyed doing what i was doing it wasn't yeah. about the money it was about creating a product right. creating something i said you know what eventually once once people love it and you get your name out there yeah the most rewarding thing is referrals yeah. when somebody says hey my friend bought your product and yeah. they and they really love it and they recommended it that's the best reward that you can get do you have an iphone or do you have a um, an android i have an iphone okay so i feel really bad for your iphone uh-huh but because i feel really bad <laughs> for your this episode is also sponsored in part by just mobile just mobile yeah because you just need this mm -hmm. this is highway max e-cigarette charger it does quick charges okay right your uh, mount which rotates 360 so this is a vent mount oh that's you pretty put your cool cell phone whatever and you can rotate it nice. and there's a lightning cable for your iphone too that's awesome you know, this idea. isn't like is a charger that everybody has yeah right i want you to just close your eyes we're doing a blind <laughs> test test with just mobile yeah chargers ready yeah why don't you just feel oh yeah feel it and touch it now you can just feel this one just heavier nicer right you can tell the quality's there for sure just like chirophone look at the cable it's so cool too yeah i've always been a man of quality right you buy a bunch of crappy chargers they don't last you Definitely. lose them they break you know what's the point of rebuying something 17 times in the long term you'll spend more money on it than just buying one good quality product right yeah. i live by that so there's people that would buy a 200 dollars mattress every year after three years, you can buy yourself a $600 mattress, and that yeah. $600 mattress will last you 10 years. What is the best way to market a business these days? Be authentic. Um, mm. Tell people what your product is about. Everyone's going online, um, in my opinion. Every other form of advertising and marketing is slowly going down. The online sector is constantly going up. How are you supposed to return stuff without paying for the extra shipping? Some companies offer free returns well, what's your uh, policy for example so with our policy you have a hundred nights to try out the mattress am i allowed to have coitus on the mattress you, you do whatever you want on it <laughs> if i stain it yeah will you take it back we'll take it back yeah. really yeah well, well a lot of the times we'll try to find a charity to donate it to right okay. hopefully it's not stained in that sense right we try not to fill up the landfills right yeah. and our exchange rates oh, really? okay. and our return rates are very low people actually like the product so we're not worried about it but it gives people peace of mind that hey yeah. after 100 nights you can't give it back okay. and and that's very important i think when it comes to buying things online when there there is no return uh should i and that's when you're saying that's when you'll be skeptical right but a lot of people out there you know they go to the gym they'll eat healthy their exercise but they will lack in their sleep because they're they're not enjoying it i mean that's the case for me yeah. i honestly i sleep four to five hours a day yeah i don't know if it's because of the mattress i feel that sleeping just defeats the purpose of living nowadays we live in a culture where everyone's working out everyone's trying to eat healthy sleeping is equally as important i mean a mattress is something that you use at least eight hours every night or at we hope that, so and everybody not, says oh i want my beauty sleep yeah why not get why not get the best why not get something that'll help yeah. you and when you sleep your muscles you recover know, when you, you sleep do you have any statistics in terms of uh what percentage of people actually value sleep and, and the type of sleep that they get one out of every five car accidents has to do with like sleep deprivation just tired they're not focused they did a study on mice and they actually said that mice that would learn something for an hour and then slept performed better than mice that would learn try to learn something for three hours straight and were deprived of sleep your mind will actually learn things better and quicker if you're well rested if you sleep good when i went to university like the guys that would stay up all night studying they would do the worst right they think that they're doing themselves a benefit by i did better yeah really sleeping I'm a dilemma. Staying, I'm, staying. i am a walking <laughs> dilemma man I'm, the less sleep that i have I, I am actually more focused and alert i am the only hard part is getting up once yes. i'm up yeah it's yeah, like right. I'm, I'm fine i find sleeping with the blinds open help if the sun wakes you up in the morning you used to work from home a lot and i would only go to sleep when the birds started chirping uh -huh. and 
they would always start tripping like at 3 40 to 4 a.m yeah, yeah yeah i don't know how you did it that's crazy yeah i'm still doing it <laughs> <laughs> okay this okay now we will have to get you in you're gonna see if a chirofoam can it's put gonna, the mars in to sleep you won't toss and turn you'll be comfortable you'll wake up feeling refreshed relaxed guaranteed uh, we will do that as an experiment and if you don't like it, send it back to my front door, just throw it in. I will stain that and yeah. then send it back. <laughs> Have you had any people who were negative towards you or the idea of you starting this business? There's always going to be haters, right? Were your parents um, supportive? My parents were very supportive. Okay. Um, I know some of my friends never thought it would succeed. Well, they said, what's this guy doing with mattresses? Like, you saw mattresses? Like, oh, what's this high mattresses for? Right. You know? And I don't know if they were like necessarily hating, but they just didn't believe in it, right? And now after the fact, like, even admit to me, like, you know what, yeah. back in the day, like four or five years ago, we, we thought you were crazy. Oh, I'm really happy that you found your passion then. Yeah. Um, we talked about earlier about uh, society these days. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to, uh, everybody wants to be rich. Nobody wants to work. Where is this heading? Nowadays, it's, I think, easier than ever to like start up your own business. You start up an Instagram account, you start up a little website, you yeah. get your name out there, right? But with that being said, a lot of people are taking advantage of that and it's actually becoming harder because there's so much of everything out there, right? So it's not impossible. It's good to even, it's good to even start off small as a side business. Don't quit your day job and stop paying rent. Do it as a side hustle. And a lot of people do that nowadays too, right? They have a side business that they try to focus on as much as they can. Then eventually yeah. when it does blow up, boom, you're living life, right? Hopefully. Expect your first business to fail. A lot of this isn't that. your first one, right? This isn't my first one. Which no. one is this? This is my third one. Right. My first one failed. Right. They don't my have to second say what it was. Yeah. <laughs> Learn mm -hmm. that I'm gonna put in 200%, but it may not work. And you have to be okay with that. Yeah. Because if you're not okay with that, when you fail, you will not try again. And that is what a lot of people do. I think persistence is key, right? If you're just persistent, don't take no for an answer. The more times you get denied, the better your next chances at succeeding. I yeah, think. but that is the impossible yeah. task. I <laughs> even still to this day hate rejection. So where's your business gonna be in say, five years? Hopefully millions of people are gonna be sleeping better and uh, loving the product. And we're, we're Canada wide and selling in the US as well. So if you happen to have an idea, mm -hmm. the people close to you are putting it down. At this point, you haven't proven yourself to your family, your friends, anybody around you. So how do you stay motivated? You've gotta be stubborn, right? When I started, my, um, my mom didn't think it was gonna do well. My dad basically said to me, you know what, son, I'd rather help you out as much as I can and give you this opportunity. If you fail, at least I gave you this opportunity, as opposed to you looking back at me for the rest of your life saying, I never gave you this chance at all, right? Which yeah. hit me hard in the beginning, right? And I said, okay, now, now I really can't fail. <laughs> I can't let my dad down, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the biggest obstacle that you've encountered in growing this business? I would say when you're growing a business, um, start small and scale proportionately. You don't want to go too big too fast. You don't want to throw out all this money and then and then, and then then try to get it back, right? I, like I've always been a believer, you know, start small, start with a small market, do something. So right? tell, tell our audience how you started. A quick breakdown and overview of how your first order came to be. So we've had- And where you came up with the money for it. Um, so a little bit of saving, obviously, right? We, um, we had a really good, strong connection with one of the suppliers that we had and we kind of just pool their thoughts together, pool their money together and... How many partners did you have? So there's three of us. How much money did you guys have to raise? To start this venture, it was about fifty to $80,000, I would say. This is just for the order or did that include that know, included the design? That included the website, everything? the design, really? the photo shoots, everything. Wow. Yeah. Um, we can order in small batches. So everything's like kind of made to order, which is better too. Okay. So the mattresses don't stay compressed for too long. Oh, that's a bad thing? A lot of companies, what they do if you're getting stuff from China, and especially if they're using lower quality foams, they'll spray it down with like a certain chemical. Mm -hmm. um, and that's when people get scared about like the off gassing, the smells, right? That's like a common misconception. I never methods. knew that there would be uh, a chemical discharge so, from, so, from what? So they'll spray it down just to help the foam come back up after being compressed for like six, seven, eight months, a year, who knows, right? Oh. Um, if you're using cheaper quality foams and they're compressed for long periods of time, then you need that kind of help, right? This you don't. This can be compressed without any chemicals or anything for up to a year. It'll oh, be fine. Okay. And think about it this way. If this mattress can be compressed and completely rolled up, squished into a ball essentially, and this then come back up, yeah, come back out 
and then we give you a 15 year warranty on it that has to say something about the quality of the foam right true if it was if it was a cheap mattress you would yeah. never be able to do that right possible for us to ship canada wide across the usa how much is shipping free shipping's free free shipping yeah we don't charge for shipping where exactly are you going because they're almost there uh just on the corner here on university what are you gonna be doing here is this like uh, you're pitching what like yeah we have a meeting with uh with a retail how hard would it be for you guys to just get a deal with like mattermy home it's like everybody buys a mattermy homes get some free mattress from cairo foam you know is that something you guys considered of course if they want to right we're looking into getting hotels to carry our bread right so that way when people visit the hotel they can sleep they'll see that oh you know i've had such a good sleep what, what is this and then they'll get a little incentive to buy the mattress that they slept on how many people say oh i've had the best sleep in this hotel room right and that has to say something about your mattress a lot of people are like that they'll sleep on something and they just they don't they don't realize they don't know that it's bad for them they don't know that there's something better out for yeah. them and they don't realize that that back pain could be solved with a better mattress right, right now. mattresses should be replaced every eight to ten years right yeah a mattress doubles in weight yes yeah. we're fine <laughs> yeah we're good thank you That's you were experiment <laughs> So mattress actually- I have groupies. Yeah. <laughs> she has, I thought she wanted my autograph. Or your autograph, right? I'm probably buying yeah. it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, your mattress will actually double in weight just from all the oil, the dead skin cells. But it's got that. covers though, so. It all gets absorbed into that mattress. Unless you have a waterproof mattress protector, but even those you have to replace every couple of years because they lose out their effectiveness, right? Okay. So I need some final words of advice to uh, you know people out there who want to do their own thing. You know what, do it. It's worth it, 100%. It's not going to be easy. You're gonna have a lot of frustrating nights and days, but if you're passionate and you think about it in a way that this is a do or die, there's no ands or ifs or buts, this is what I'm gonna do and you stick forward to that vision, you're gonna make it happen, you're gonna be happy, you're gonna be successful. Ooh. Just don't give up. It's Again. cliche, but it's true. What's the worst night that you can remember where you were just like ready to give up or throw in the towel? Many. Where do I start? Give me, just give me what, like <laughs> one thing that you did that was just like... I remember in the beginning trying to get sales for the manufacturing that I was doing and everybody just said no, no, no for like four days straight. I was driving around like all, all over. They had a list of like 40 different stores I went to visit. Some people like, they wouldn't even let me in their store. They'd be like, no, 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 go. They see you with the brief, briefcase, you know? And then it's like, like nobody wants what I'm doing here. Nobody yeah. wants my product. You yeah. know, what do I do? That kind of puts you down a little bit, right? If somebody says no to you 40 times in a row and you're driving around from store to store, yeah. but I mean, you don't give up and you stay persistent, you find a different angle. How long did it take you to get your first yes? Probably like on the fifth day. And then we started, and then I started seeing things and I started seeing the angle. And then the more experience that you have too, yeah. you start to approach things different and you learn from your mistakes, you see what works, every business is different, right? Yeah. The more you fail at something, the more knowledge you have and the more likely you are to succeed, I guess, right? Success yeah. only, only comes from failure. Yeah, because that's how you learn, right? Pleasure meeting you. Thank you for the ride. Okay, guys, so thank you so much. Take your glasses off. You can't have those. <laughs> These are so cool. You have a lot of stuff that I gave you. You cannot <laughs> take my glasses. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you haven't watched the other episodes, for anybody out there who wants to start a mattress company, call this guy, I guess. But you can't reject me 40 times. <laughs> you can't reject this guy anymore. So chirofoam.com, do you have Twitter, Instagram, and any of that? We're on Twitter, we're on Instagram, we're everywhere. It's all chirofoam. If you're looking for a good night's sleep, if you know you haven't been sleeping the best lately, try it out. You have nothing to lose. You get a hundred nights. Yeah. I'll probably get like a free mattress. Who knows? Maybe. But <laughs> I thank you again, and let's thank unload. You. Yeah. See you guys. Okay. And it goes to show exactly what he said that it's all about perseverance. Okay. So I'll check out UberExperiment.com. Go on Twitter, Instagram. Marcin out. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so this is our costume. People don't understand that every day they wake up, they go and make money for somebody else. You're making uncle rich, but not yourself. So not even their uncle. So this oh, this one. one. You wanna okay. guess what it, what's in it? Pineapple? Yeah. You don't really see a lot of women Womenpreneurs. Why do you think that is? As a first grader, I get a gas mask to go to what? school with. I have a dance company called New Skin. You have a dance company? We talk about business ideas and passion. I understood that I should not be going forward with what doesn't make me happy. What's the name of your company, by the way? It's Principal. I think Principal would have been better. I like that. But what type of if dancing you, do you do? I do good dancing. <laughs> I never lose your wallet again. The wallet. I think whatever it is that you can conceive, you can actually achieve as long as you, you know, put the effort and keep positive. What was the toughest thing about starting this business? 
I'm not really an actor though, or an Uber driver. Are you sure? Yeah, I, I love these protein bars. Cause what are you doing? <laughs> Give me this damn thing. <laughs> yeah, I just found this the other day, so good. Oh my goodness, you made me laugh. Thank you, my mouth is what? hurting. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I love it. <laughs>